It's a wealthy expat here in the beautiful city of Istanbul, Turkey, the St. Regis Hotel with the park, the sea view in the background. I absolutely love this chaotic, energetic, big city of Istanbul. I love Turkey overall, different landscapes, different people, a lot of different vibes throughout the country. But why do I not promote this citizenship program here in Turkey? You can get the Turkish passport, Turkish citizenship in a couple of months by investing $400,000 in real estate or more. It used to be a quarter million, now it is 400,000. Why we don't talk about this program that much? Why don't promote it? to my clients. The Turkish passport actually gives you access to a lot of great countries around the world, like Japan, gives you access to most of Latin America, South Korea, a lot of countries in the East. So it gives you relative access to the world. Obviously not as good as St. Kitts or other Caribbean programs. They give you Europe, UK, Turkish doesn't give you that. But if you want a second travel document to travel to some places, or you just want in this region of the world, the Turkish passport could open some doors for you. Unfortunately, the Turkish passport also brings a lot of prejudice and a lot of bias. A lot of people around the world, they see what's happening here in Turkey. They see the economy going down. They see the president heading in the wrong direction in their eyes. Whatever opinion you have about Turkey, whatever opinion I have, what other people are thinking, immigration officials, airport officials, residency permit officials that are looking at your documents. When you go through these processes as a Turkish national, it's going to be a lot harder. It isn't a passport that is considered as innocent or one that people don't know much about. If you show up at an airport, the St. Kitts passport, most people have never seen it. They think it's cute. They look it up in their system. You have 90 days. Welcome to the country. With a Turkish person, they have a lot of prejudice. They have a lot of bias. They think, oh my God, this person is going to immigrate here, especially when you try to apply for a visa for Europe. Overall, it's not going to be a smooth experience to go to different countries with a Turkish passport. It isn't also the best deal in the world because if you donate $100,000, $150,000 to the Caribbean, instead of investing $400,000 here in the real estate, market in Istanbul or in Turkey, you're getting a much better quality passport for a lot less money. Yes, you lose the 100,000, you lose the 150,000 here. You might actually appreciate your money because the market here is exploding recently with the Russians buying property, with people all over the world buying property in Istanbul and Turkey overall. You might actually make money getting the passport, but if you're just looking at the best travel document possible, the best citizenship possible, that's going to open the most doors for you. The one that long term is going to do the best. In my personal opinion, I see the Caribbean countries and different options around the world much better than that of Turkey. It is the same reason why I never promoted Vanuatu, even when they had access to Europe, to the Schengen area. I never promoted the country. I always said Caribbean countries are better. Vanuatu is doing shady things. It doesn't have a good reputation around the world. It's had issues in the past. It's going to have issues in the future and now they lost access to the Schengen area They're trying to get it back as hard as possible tightening their due diligence But I don't see it happening in the near future That's why I always recommended the Caribbean countries first when it comes to investing in Turkey If you don't want to do it for the passport for the citizenship You want to do it for the actual investment into the country if you love the country if you love the crypto community The easiness of using crypto exchanging it for cash here in Istanbul and Turkey. That's a whole different story or if you have an extremely low quality citizenship right now, let's say like an Afghan or an Iranian, and you want to get a higher quality passport so that you can then get St. Kitts, Caribbean passport, Maltese passports, then yes, Turkey could be a step up to then get the ultimate step with an extra passport later on. Those would be really the only two cases that I would recommend investing into this country in order to get the citizenship. If you're considering Turkish citizenship by investment or any citizenship by investment around the world, make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. If you're investing into the country because you love the country and you love Turkey and you wanna see a return on your property, amazing, you get a passport included in that. But don't do it for the purpose of getting a second citizenship and a second passport just because it gives you some extra countries around the world. If you wanna see more countries that offer their citizenship by investment that you can buy a passport legally right now check out this video right here on the 10 countries that offer their passport in this year right now so that you can buy a passport in less than six months check it out right now